that if she does run, it will be the most, uh, if people got to be ready for an untraditional uh, kind of campaign. I think that is the kind of thing that will be weaved into uh, the nature of how she persuades and, and influences people. I don't think actually anything changes. You know what I think, Johnny? I think she's been running. I think she's been running since her first book came out, which became the biggest nonfiction bestseller of 2009. I think she has been running, and I think we've been seeing a presidential campaign unfold. That's what I think. The last poll that I saw had her unfavorable numbers right now at 52%. Do you think that this show is going to change minds of <laughs> well, Americans? Johnny, really, I mean, that's what I saw that, too. Here we've got a woman who's got, again, the biggest best-selling nonfiction book of 2009, one of the biggest debuting television shows of 2010. She just has the word of the year that's been declared by, by Oxford. Uh, she, is, she gets massive crowds everywhere. Uh, it, it, you know, look, uh, I think that everything is changing, and it includes the meltdown of the people that run the polls. It's a fascinating life experience for somebody who apparently nobody likes. I mean, she has a – you laid out the influential track. Uh, it's a, it's a pretty, pretty funny thing to watch the old system try to react to probably Palin. And it wasn't Obama. This is what's interesting. I think Palin is the first true 21st century president, and I think that's how it's going to unfold. And I think it's going to be a, a fascinating ride for the next six years. We're talking to Tammy Bruce, host of The Tammy Bruce Show, which you can get online at TammyBruce.com. Do you think people who watch this, though, who aren't political, people who yeah. don't particularly have any axe to grind or any ideology that drives them, do you think that they are, are, are more likely or less likely to watch this and think, I want this person to be president of the country? I think they're going to watch it and they're going to realize uh, that this is a nice person. I think they're going to make the jump from having allowed the mainstream media uh, to um, smear her. They'll go from ambivalence to liking her, and then they'll have an open mind. And it's just like with Bristol Palin on Dancing with the Stars. Look, you got people watching now that aren't political that started looking at Bristol through the prism of the popular media and maybe didn't like her, and they've grown to like her. You know, I think all, all we can ask uh, as Americans who love the country and who want uh, a, a, a future that's better than what we've got right now are for more Americans to have an open mind and to not be controlled by the elitist snobs that want to tell you that a woman uh, like Sarah Palin and her family uh, aren't good enough to, to, to be leaders, when in fact that's exactly the kind of person that the Founding Fathers had in mind.